the Truth or Girls. Hi everyone, Truth or Girl Sonia here. I'd like to go over a story that was brought to my attention by Lisa Haven in her video, Alert Something Deadly Rising Out of Illinois. And I just gotta say, I'm using this video from Lisa Haven as a starting point. I in no way intend to diss Lisa. I think she does a great job covering a lot of very interesting topics. I'm subscribed to her. I watch her all the time. On this one, she's talking about a new superbug that they have in Illinois, which is very deadly. What she's talking about here is CRE, Dangerous Untreatable Superbug on the Rise. And uh, CRE stands for Carbapenem Resistant Enterobacteriaceae. Bacteriaceae. Well, you know what it is. It's a entero means in the gut. It's a bacteria that lives in your gut, which is resistant to the antibiotic carbapenem, which normally should work, but in this case doesn't. Global health experts are sounding the alarm on a nightmare superbug that is res resistant to nearly all antibiotics. Doctors warn the bacterial infection is becoming more widespread with little to no treatment options available. If we have more and more people developing these kinds of infections and without options, people will die. It's serious. Now look, here is the deal with this thing. Uh, first of all, this article calling it a nightmare superbug was from 2016. And the other article here from Chicago 5 mentions there was an outbreak in 2013. So actually this superbug has been around for quite some time. Now I can see from Lisa Haven's video and the comments below that people are very concerned about this. I mean, what can you do to make sure that you don't get sick with this new superbug? Well, actually, the chances that you're going to get sick with it are very low. This is a bug that people get in the hospital, what they call a nosocomial infection. As the CDC will explain here, Klebsiella species and Escherichia coli, which is also known as E. coli, are examples of Enterobacteriaceae, a normal part of the human gut bacteria that can become carbapenem resistant. Did you hear that? Normal part of the gut bacteria, as in that usually healthy people can have some of this in their gut and it will actually do nothing to them. Healthy people usually do not get CRE infections. They usually happen to patients in hospitals, nursing homes and other healthcare settings. Patients whose care requires devices like ventilators, urinary catheters or IV catheters and patients who are taking long courses of certain antibiotics are most at risk for CRE infections. So number one, unless you're receiving treatment that involves a ventilator, a catheter, IV lines, you're at pretty low risk. And second, normally your own gut flora will balance itself out. The reason people become susceptible when they're on antibiotics for a long time is that it totally disrupts the gut flora. And then in that environment, if something like one of these bacteria introduced, your body doesn't have its natural defenses to fight it and can become overwhelmed with it. And another case like this is C. difficile, which people were freaking out about C. difficile in the early 2000s. But C. diff is something that people who are healthy just don't get because it takes an unhealthy environment for something like this to take hold. Superbug infections are of course becoming a bigger and bigger problem as the bugs become more resistant to antibiotics. The more we use antibiotics and the more they're used incorrectly, the more the bugs have the chance to mutate. This is how you end up with this situation. It, it, the bugs are getting immune to the treatment. And yet, I know that there are other alternatives available out there. Some of them are kind of natural. That, some of them are gonna be like, when certain antibiotics stop working, they're gonna come up with other pharmaceutical ways to deal with it. And then sometimes when none of that works, you have to start turning back to the natural. For example, with C. difficile, when they realized that this very strong yogurt probiotics like BioK could, could help people recover. I mean, something as simple as a strong yogurt that replenishes your gut flora could be the difference between surviving and not surviving. Sometimes the solutions are really simple. Like in her video, actually, Lisa Haven showed a supplement that said Allison on it. Allison is the active compound in garlic. Garlic is highly antibiotic, bactericidal. You know what I do when I get an ear infection? I stick garlic in my ears and it works. I've heard of people using yogurt and garlic for a lot of things. Ear infections, sinus infections, yeast infections. In China, they did a study and they found that the more garlic people ate, 
the lower their risk of cancer. Now that's interesting. Let's not forget colloidal silver. I mean, they used to give it to people IV by the gram in the old days. You know, the stuff kills bacteria. I mean, there are solutions out there. I'm pretty sure that there will be a day when they're going to have to start looking at natural solutions when they run out of options on the chemical end. It's going to come to that one day. Anyway, supplement with garlic has a lot of medicinal values. You could also just eat garlic. You could eat different probiotics. Kombucha, one of my favorites. There's so many options. There's so many things you can do to keep your your gut flora healthy. And it, it definitely, and especially if you get sick, take antibiotics. That's the time to really make sure that you put some good bugs back. So that's it. I just want to say, yeah, the, I mean, you know, it's out there. The bugs are out there. And if you're healthy, they're probably not going to get you. But Benik, and thank you for liking and sharing this video. And thank you for listening to me. I'll see you next time. Thank you.